guys, it's Sarah. So today I am doing one of the biggest book hauls I've ever done in my life. And it contains 24 books. Bravo me. It's a beautiful thing. There was just so many fantastic releases in September, let me say that, as well as my used bookstores around my house had super duper great stock. So I went, I went a little ham. I went a little ham. I figured that I needed to do this haul because it is going to be my birthday soon. And with birthday comes birthday book hauls and oh what a time to be alive uh, okay so first i'm just going to kind of start with all the fancy new releases because they're super exciting so first i got the copper gauntlet by holly black and cassandra claire it's a middle grade adventure magical school thing so it's kind of got that harry potter vibe then i got the library of souls by ransom riggs and this is the third and final book in the miss peregrine's home for peculiar children series. Ho ho, man. Haven't read it. It's next. Next we have the book that I'm pretty much the most excited for, and that is Jim Henson's Labyrinth, written by A.C.H. Smith. Wouldn't you know, it's going out of print. So, there was one left. You couldn't buy it online like anywhere that I could find anyway. One copy left in my area. Just one. I race to the store. Purchase the last copy. This is a treasure and a joy and just, oh, I'm just, I love Labyrinth so much. The book has illustrations, crazy cool stuff, and I just love Labyrinth so much. Next, I got Shades of Dune by Carrie Corp and Laurie Langdon. This is the third book in the Dune series. There's going to be four of them, so this one was super cliffhangery, and it's just like, ah. Uh, so next I got The Mark of Athena by Rick Riordan, and this is the Heroes of Olympus book three. I haven't started this series yet, and I have book one, book three now, and book five. So I need to get book two and book four, but yes, once I acquire them all, I'm going to read them. And I just saw this used, so I was like, I'm gonna buy you, so I did. Speaking of weirdly spaced out series, here is some of the series of unfortunate events. By Lemony Snicket. A few weeks ago, I decided that I would start collecting the series because I loved it so much as a child and I never got to own them. So I've just been kind of perusing the local stores. So, so far, I have collected book one, two, three, six, eight, and nine. So I need four, five, seven, 10, 11, 12, 13. My collection will be growing. <laughs> Misery, pain, misfortune. Oh, it's a delight. Then I got Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne Jones. I love the Hayao Miyazaki Studio Ghibli movie version of this book. So I just really want to read this one and compare it to the movie because I love the movie so much as well. Next, I got The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. And everyone seems to have a different opinion on this series is either you absolutely love it or you absolutely hate it but with the movie coming out I I saw it at the bookstore used of course because I buy like almost everything used and I had to I just had to get it I'll read it before I go see Chloe Grace Moretz being a badass also by Rick Yancey I got the monstrumologist the first book in the monstrumologist series there's four books but I just saw this once and I figured I would pick it up because it has phenomenal reviews on Goodreads and everyone seems to really like it and it's like a Halloween type vibey book so I love spooky YA books spooky YA book so yeah the main character studies monsters come on come on that just sounds so cool to me I don't know but yes next I got crazy rich Asians by Kevin Kwan this is an adult novel about a lady from New York who goes to visit her boyfriend's family in China where she then finds out that his family are crazy rich Asians and it's kind of got like a pride and prejudice vibe to it according to people next I got the name of the star by Maureen Johnson I had never heard of this story before until I saw it at the used bookstore and I looked it up on Goodreads on my phone and it had phenomenal reviews and on the front it is blurbed by Cassandra Clare one of my favorite authors if you can't tell 
I like her a lot. This story is about a Louisiana teenager that gets sent to London and she witnesses a murder. She saw the guy that did it, but she is the only one that could see it, so there's like this magical, paranormal, fantasy, urban fantasy vibe. It sounds like something totally up my alley, so I am really going to be reading this one soon, and yeah, hopefully it's a, it's a gem. Speaking of British-y things, Funko Pop very first Funko Pop, Harry Potter. Next we have The Glass Arrow by Kristen Simmons. And oh man, it's about a society where there's not that many girls. So women are like a commodity that men buy and they keep them enslaved, so you know, babies. One of them escapes. Her name's Aya, Aya. Aya. Aya don't know. Aha! Dad jokes. Ding! So I got this off Book Depository in like August, but I forgot to haul it, so yeah! Woo! Also from Book Outlet, I got Strange Sweet Song by Addie Rule, and this book is amazing! I've already read it, but it's really, really good and crazy, and I just don't even... I just don't know. Next I got The Seventh Daughter by Freewin Jones. This is the third book in the Fairy Path series. I have the first two, but I haven't actually read them yet, so I need to stop doing that because I don't know if I like it. But it's like a Shakespearean fairy, a Midsummer's Night Dream retelling. The main character is like a fairy princess or something, and she doesn't know. I don't know. And next I got Jurassic Park by Michael. Crichton. Crichton, I'm awful. I apologize. But you know, the movie Jurassic Park? Here's the book. Apparently it's a fantastic work of literature and everyone should read and it's a beautiful work of art, apparently. I don't know. Barnes and Nobles has a phenomenal copy. You know those like Barnes and Nobles hardcover ones, hardcover books they make? You know? They have a Jurassic Park one, and that was the one I wanted to get, but I saw this for like a dollar, so I bought it. So if I like it, I guess I'll invest in like the beautiful version, but this is why I wish I was in America right now, because of the Barnes and Nobles. The next one is super, super boring, and it's for school, so don't judge me, okay? But this is the Berlin Blue by Drew Hayden Taylor. This was $18. Duh! $18 for this little fluch. Classic school move. Next I got this shitty copy of Watership Down by Richard Adams. Apparently this is a literary gem and it's a must read. One of my teachers just would not stop talking about this book in a completely irrelevant class. It was like a law class. So I figured I would read it because it's like one of those classics that people read. Bunnies, adventures, I don't know. Lastly, I got the first two books in the Vampire Chronicles series by Anne Rice. So that's Interview with a Vampire and The Vampire Lestat. And I read uh, The Interview with the Vampire years ago. It's been far too long. I love the movie so much. So I have been meaning to get like a nice copy of all of the books. But I, I'm tidying myself over with these terrible, ugly versions. I kind of wanted to read this for the Halloween season again, like give it a good reread. I can't find a good copy of these anywhere because I've been looking for such a long time for like a mediocre at best version and I, I just, ugh, just terrible. But yeah, so I did a video actually the other day and it's just talking all about buying too many books which is just so relevant to today because so many books. But I will link that below if you guys are interested in watching that and you didn't see it already. But yes, let me know in the comments below if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them and tell me your tell me your thoughts please because I'd like to know. Thank you so much for watching my video. My name is Sarah and I will see you guys later. Bye.